Hey guys, and we are here at a special tasting at Dadong, and it's so special because we have an extra special guest. So we have Emily from Food Lover's Diary. Hi everyone. Who is an Asian food expert. She might be Russian, but Russia is in Asia, so that counts, right? Technically. Okay, so what are the two dishes we have here in front of us? So we have the geoduck clam. I've mm. never tried geoduck clam, so I'm super excited about and this. And for those that are confused about geoduck clams, it what does it look like exactly? <laughs> It's like a long clam in a shell. Yeah, not like a clam that you're used no, to. No, like this is like a very specific, like tubular long. I would say clam. it's phallic. Phallic. I would say phallic. It's a, it's a I, was, phallic. I was trying to avoid that, but, <laughs> but Jeremy went there, so that's why. And um, what are these? We have salted duck egg yolk wrapped in sticky rice and kaffir lime leaf. So mm. shall All right, we? So what should we try first? Let's try the geoduck. Geoduck. Okay. So they obviously slice it super, super thin. Super thin. Are right, you ready? Yeah. Cheers. Mm, that's really good. It's really good. It's not, mm -hmm. it definitely doesn't taste as odd as it looks. No, not at all. Especially when it's cut up, you would never know. Yeah, I you would never know. I have to explain that it sort of looks like that. Oh, and it's, it's sitting in like a little ice. It's very like. It's its own little igloo. <laughs> it's very subtle, I'd say, the flavors, right? Really subtle. It's not super chewy. I feel like it's sometimes not super the clams like, like either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of almost a little sweet. Yeah. Yeah, totally, totally. totally all right, so let's that. try these. So, are we supposed to eat the leaf? I don't know. I feel like no. Let's not. No? No. I mean, maybe we can do it, but all right, let's. <laughs> this is cool looking. Mmm, it's like a little egg sushi. I love that. Uh, it's like my two rice favorite. And egg. It's a brunch sushi. Oh, yeah. It's how, how apropos. <laughs> all right, ready? Mmm. Uh -huh. I mean, like, you can't go wrong. Super salty. Well, I got it. It tastes like. Mm -hmm. Literally tastes like egg and rice, in a good way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now time for the main event, the hot and spicy lobster. It's literally a giant bowl of lobster and like a thousand different types of peppers. What, do you, what type of peppers so do you think So there was here? the dried red chilies, there's Szechuan peppercorn, so that's gonna like numb our mouth and it kind of tastes like citrus. It's just basically a lobster floating in chili, so Amazing. I mean, I'm excited. I don't really know how to go about this here. I don't know if you're supposed to eat the, the chili too or just there for no, flavor. No, there's no way. I feel like when you get like the chicken, you don't really eat okay. the peppers, I right? Found, I found a piece, let's go. Oh, but they're all like in the shell. You sort of have to work with it, right? Yeah, I mean, you, you have to work for your food. I don't like working for my food. <laughs> all right, where's your piece? I don't know, there we go, okay. All right, cheers. Mmm, I will go. Mm. <laughs> okay. We sort of do taste like all the different levels of peppers that are going through your mouth because this one sort of like hits you differently, you know? Yeah, like the red chili is more of like an obvious heat. Mm -hmm. A stretch one peppercorn. So that gives you the it numbing. It creeps up and it's like numb mm -hmm. and then you feel the back of your taste buds. Like it tastes <laughs> like you just like, like squeezed a lemon onto your taste buds and you're like puckering up a little bit. But honestly, it's not. Like, I would say it's not unmanageably spicy. No, not at all. No. For like the amount of peppers that you see, like, it we both looks like spice. Yeah. yeah. We have high spice specials, but I feel like the average person could eat Yeah, this. like it's not even crazy numb. It's like just on the edge. It is hard to eat this though. I'm struggling. There's like a lot of shell. Okay, so now that I've taken a few bites, oh, the go. spice is like accumulating. Uh, it's building on you? Yeah, it's building on me. Here, I got like, I got the good claw piece here. Oh, I'm jealous. I want a good claw piece. I don't know what this is like. It's so hard. Mm. Oh, there we go. Ah. I just fit shell, that's fine. <laughs> when you win some, you lose some. Oh, here's mm. some. I did who? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, right. I dare you to eat a spoonful of all the chilies. Right. Do it. Fine. I think he's just trying to act cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, fine. <laughs> all right, well. Oh God, now it's pulsing. I was just joking, now it's actually hot. So I feel like the learning experience from this is don't be afraid to order and try new things, right? Because we've never had, we've both had Asian food a thousand times. Yeah, like. Millions of times, but we've never had this. As much as it pains me to say, sometimes you need to stray away from the dumplings and noodles and try something that you've <laughs> never heard of or tried before. But we're gonna get those too. Well, duh. We're not gonna go to an Asian restaurant and not get that, no. so. Yeah. Okay, well, Emily, thank you for doing this extra special tasting with me. Of course. <laughs> Bye. Bye.